Greetings, friends. So for those of you who don't follow everything in the uh, religion apologetic sphere, there's this young guy called Sneeko. He's some American live streamer who converted to Islam not so long ago. I don't think he understands too much about Islam. He sees it, along with many other young men in the West today, as the answer to the crisis in masculinity and being strong and taking charge and moving things forward traditional ideals, you know, regarding women, so it's understandable why m many men uh, choose Islam, although ultimately they're wrong, and Islam is not the true religion, but that's not the subject so much of this video. I wanted to draw attention to a post Sneeko made on X about a month ago, maybe a little more than that, where he was pointing out that H-Man had a favorable view towards Islam. He drew attention to what H-Man said during his uh, table talk lectures. He gave these semi-informal talks to members of, her, of his inner circle during the war years, I think before 1944, but sometime after the war had begun, before things got really bad for Germany, and they were still in a good position, one of their secure locations, he would give these regular um, evening time discussions where he would talk on many topics, and they were recorded by one of his aides, or at least took notes. Those documents were given a stamp by the aides. So these aren't minutes, they were not word-for-word -word minutes, but they were, in the words of some critics on X who were disputing this view, they were uh, collections and representations. Now, collections and representations do not imply that they were false collections or, or false representations. They do imply that they would be faithful to what H-Man was saying. Can I say Hitler? Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. David Irving, the famous pro-National Socialist, pro-H-Man historian, who was being persecuted, by the establishment in the West. Someone posted a link to this website where it does seem to be David Irving's words when someone had asked him on a blog about this question of table talk uh, lectures by H-Man and Irving had affirmed that they are genuine and that's where I'm getting this information that these notes were taken and that they were certified by one of H-Man's aides and that's how we they come down to, to us. So if Irving's one of the chief historians, pro-Nazi historian, I, think, I don't think that's a slander to call him that. I don't actually have any problem with David Irving. I'd love to read his books when I have the chance, hopefully. But he was confirming that H-Man did indeed say these things. So basically, to the critics who are trying to dismiss table talk lectures, it doesn't work to say that they were collections and representations. Yeah, they were. And as far as we know, that still contains the view, faithfully, of what the Fuhrer was saying. Collections and representations does not imply that they're somehow lying. There's no reason to make that assumption. We have no reason to, as to assume that, as far as I can see. Now, what did h -Man actually say that he liked Islam? Well, from what I read, that the selections people were, were bringing up, and maybe there's more selections that I didn't see, but he didn't say too much. He said something to the effect of, well, Islam is respectable because their followers will fight, they have strong men, they believe, they really believe, they are, and they are serious. And of course, he would go on about, well, we have common cause against the Jews. I don't remember if Hitler had much else to say about theology of Islam or how it's compatible with National Socialism. Perhaps he had something to say about the compatibility. I think he said something like, Arabs just wouldn't do well in Germany because it's not their climate, but I still respect Arabs for being traditional in their own way, in their own lands. And I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly. He said something to that effect. I don't recall seeing anything in depth about a theological understanding of Islam or what the theology of National Socialism was. It's kind of a mix of paganism and fascist ideas, folk traditions. That's not enough to say he really was a positive uh, promoter of Islam, but it is enough to say that he had this positive view. The other case is he had some uh, relationship diplomatically with the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem at the time. This is before the modern state of Israel was created, and he was making political cause to uh, basically get the Arabs to, to fight with 
the Nazis against the Allies. And he was saying that we have common cause because of the Jews are, are our common enemy. And he had some other things to say there that were pro-Arab kind of, but I read that, it wasn't very long, a summary of what would happen during their meeting, because H-Man did meet with the Grand Mufti. But from what I've seen and read, their meeting was mostly just about geopolitical interests. That's not enough to say that he was pro-Islam, but it does show that he was friendly towards the Arab countries. But that's not a lot to say that H-Man was really pro-Islam. It is in unison with his table talk views on Islam. So loosely we can say yes, Hitler was friendly towards Islam. He had a somewhat favorable view of it, but it wasn't well thought out at all. He probably didn't understand much about Islam. And the real reason that I'm talking about this is I'm just trying to underline that H-Man was not favorable to Christianity. National Socialism was at war with the Catholic Church in Germany. They persecuted the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church fought back with their encyclical with burning concern before the war started. Priests were arrested. Information was censored. Goebbels had a particular vendetta against the Catholic Church. I'm not saying the Catholic Church was perfect either, but let's not try to pretend that there was a good relationship there. But what did Hitler really understand of Christianity either. I don't think he was ever really practicing. He probably had some warped view, maybe from what he read from Nietzsche, who was himself responding to a watered-down Protestant pre-progressive Christianity of Germany in, in the 1800s. I'm more interested to see that this discussion was having a majority of National Socialists saying, yeah, I guess that's fine, argue with a small number of their own who were trying to defend Christianity or at least defend that National Socialism was compatible with Christianity, which it isn't because Hitler did say later, and I believe he did say this, that he expected that Christianity would wither away and go away. He didn't want to necessarily destroy it, but he was hoping and expecting that it would go because that's not the worldview he had for the Germans of his understanding, the highest good for the German people was the German people. That was the highest good. Not God, nothing universal. The universalism of Christianity was at odds with National Socialism. However, you could also say the universal God of Islam might be at odds with uh, National Socialism too. So none of this is very coherent, but yes, yes, H-Man did have a favorable view of Islam and he didn't like Christianity. Hasta luego, amigos!